This one is from Kingman, Arizona. And ta -ta -da -da. look at this Bertram. Bertram's engine looks good. Not bad, not bad. Just a little dust. This one is 2009 Peter Company. Tender is the decal is a little crooked. That end, this other side is okay. Nice, let's see if it works. No batteries. Clean battery compartment. Let's see if it works. Oh, man, it's noisy. I don't like it. You hear that? Very loud. First, we remove five screws, then flip the model, push it down like that. Remove this screw that holds the gearbox. Now we can have access. Uh, this one, it's okay. Also, we need to remove one, two, three screws. Once we are done with that, remove the lever, this part. What is that inside? Unbelievable. So, here is the one that causes the noise. This call here. We got a replacement, cog done, we put the motor back, warm gear, spring loaded gear, then we can finish up the assemble. Let's see how it sounds. I think it's good, very good. All right, let's continue, little test. Sounds good to me. We continue the last screw. Remove a little dust. Test. Cool. Very nice Bertram. If you're interested, customtrackmasters.com. Check eBay too. Very expensive eBay. Princeton, West Virginia. Flip face Tolkien James. Flippers look good. That looks clean. Well, here's the reason that this model does not run. <laughs> See the snapper wires right there? Let's begin. Seven screws out. Take everything apart. Two more screws here. Yeah, these two screws are holding James' top two. Before we continue, I need to remove this Spring. Gotta pull this out carefully. Lift the motor. Two screws need to be out. Then pull. Oh man, a little dirty. So here is the thing. We need to rewire the motor. First, I'll try to remove these wires and then I'm going to put the new ones. I'm going to use the blue on this end. I have no brown, but I'm going to use a white one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't seem to work, so I'm going to spin the motor. Let it run for a minute or two. Next, I'm going to try to see if it runs by itself. Yep works next looking good let's put the gearbox two screws driving axle need a little cleaning 
once I run the wires through the chassis, I'm going to put the motor and the coupling. All right, let's do a little test. It is working. Now we need to rewire the tender. But first, I got to assemble the engine itself. In this case, the top goes first. This is the part that it takes time because you need to align the flippers and I used to put a little tape to keep it in place see once you remove the tape but make sure you align this rod that's the face rod then you're good to go we are done with the engine now the tender First wire, I'm going to put the blue one right over here. The other end is supposed to go here. So I'll remove the old one and put the new one. Well, it works now. All right, the rest is history. We are done with this talking flip face, James. Splendid fix and repair. Flip face talking James works great. Unfortunately, I do not have the tracks, but it works. And it's very fast. Santan Valley, Arizona. Is that the right way to pronounce it? And we have Boco. Seller describes uh, for parts or not working. This one is 2009 Mattel. Now, let's find the battery. It looks clean. Why is not working? Let's see. There's nothing wrong with this model. Hmm, nothing wrong. Let me put it on the tracks. Good. I see nothing wrong with Boco. I don't know why the sellers describe as for parts or not working, but as you can see, works great. Well, that's it for today. There is Bertrand, Flipface, Talking, James, and Boco. Check the link in the description of customtrackmasters.com, also eBay.